An equal reaction means that my board is not going to break and I'm not going to go through it. I need to have more than it, okay? Um, we need to have something that breaks away the board, not keeps it strong. So this board has a lot of its own mass in there, and mine has to be greater than with my acceleration going through. So when I'm spinning, spinning means over your back shoulder. Does not mean turning forward, over your back shoulder. So when you're spinning, guys, when I start turning my heels, I know you cannot see them right now, but my heels face my opponent or face my board because I need to be able to just fire this leg as fast as I can backwards. And when I kick, I'm not going to kick the board right now, Miss Lily. I'm kicking. I need to turn my head. And when I kick, I want to actually kick past the board. I want to kick on this side at least this far behind the board. I do not want to stop at the board. If I stop there, guys, that equal reaction is going to happen and it's not going to do anything. We need to be able to have something split. So we're here. You're going to turn and you're going to go through I, uh, that board. All right, guys, I want you to go practice kicking a tree. Now, the tree is not going to break in half, so don't get your hopes up with that, but it needs to start shaking. And that's going to give you something hard to aim at and something to work on. And you'll start feeling the differences in your kicks. Um, don't pull back too quick. You want to go ahead and hit out. Uh, wear sneakers, too. Yes. <laughs> wear sneakers. And or let your parents hold a pillow or a suitcase or a life jacket or something for you to aim at and hit, guys. You got this. Work it hard. Let's go. All right, take one arm across, stretching out the shoulders from that arm workout earlier. Good job. And take your other arm across, stretching out that arm, stretching your shoulders. Take one arm over and behind your head, pressing it down. Go ahead, switch arms for me. Press that arm down and behind your head. Here's a tricky one. Go ahead, lace your fingers behind your back. And now you're gonna try and get them up as high as you can. If you can touch your head to the floor and bring those arms as far forward as you can without bending your elbows, that's awesome. Way to go, guys.